Okay, everyone. So we're one step closer to building our model of the CAP. In our last video, we learned about criteria and constraints. Do you remember what a criteria and a constraint is? Well, we learned that a criteria is a standard by which something is judged or assessed. And we also learned that a constraint is something that imposes a limit or a restriction. In Arizona Project WEP, listed several different criteria and constraints that needed to be managed in order for us to create our model. They also gave us a whole bunch of supplies to work with. So let's take a look at some of these supplies. We've got uh, three sets of these squarish containers, and then we have six of these shorter squatter, squatter uh, wider ones. We have one large one, and then the covers that go along to each of these so covers for the square, covers for the wider ones, cover for the other one, the big tall one. We have 20 different styrofoam cups. Hmm, wonder what we could use those for. And then we've got two of these blue things here. And the blue things look like they have a little divot in the middle of them. Hmm, kind of wondering what we can do with those as well. So, and we have three different pumps of different sizes. We have a short one. We have a medium one, and then we have a taller one. So there's certainly a lot to think about here, and I wonder if there's some kind of a process that can help us meet our engineering design. You know, there has to be a way for engineers to think through all this uh, to, and to test their design before they start to build construction projects, right? I mean, there must be a way to do that so that they don't just waste time and resources. 